morning. <laughs> Mairead, we've been lucky enough to watch some of this. Um, it's not what I expected. Tell us about your character. Yes, so Jen is uh, living in a world where everyone has got superpowers. At the age of 18, about 10 years ago, everyone was granted superpowers. But, I mean, superpowers in this world can be something really exciting like being able to fly or something like incredibly boring and mundane um, and Jen for whatever reason she's 25 she's a late bloomer and she's not gotten her superpower yet um, so yeah the, the story of the show is her trying to find her superpower and her friends helping her along the way which is a, a unique fictional clearly experience but I guess we can all relate to that in some way we all yeah. feel a bit different we all feel everybody else is getting there quicker than us yeah well that's it it's, it's a great kind of like Emma Moore and the writers done such a good job of you know discussing that um idea of when you're in your 20s and you're lost and you don't feel like you know what you're doing it feels like everyone else around you has like a grasp at life and the fact that Jen doesn't have a power obviously feeds into that so it's a great frame framework to explore you know. Yeah, all those themes of like being in your 20s. Yeah. And... I hate to tell you, it's not just when you're in your 20s. <laughs> <laughs> like that, oh, exactly, it? it carries on for quite a long time. Oh, I don't say that. <laughs> yeah, it really, really does. And Sophia, you're, I, I love your role because you're basically trying to help Jen, aren't you, all the way through? And like, there's ways to try and discover what your superpower might be or encourage it to like all of a sudden appear. Yeah. And you're this wonderfully kind of supportive, brilliant friend yeah and they have such a good relationship mm. they're such good friends and I think the series really kind of like explores the different ways that that friendship works and the different yeah. kind of elements of it because that's such a big part of being in your 20s as well as you've moved out of your home often or like you've moved to London and your nuclear family becomes the people you live with and the yeah. people you've been friends with for years and so their friendship is gorgeous they have their ups and downs but they've, yeah yeah it's like it's family isn't it basically? Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. you Blessed get a whole new family yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah as your friends and so we see Jen frustrated by not having a superpower, wondering, waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah. Are you able to tell us if she ever... <laughs> I can't tell you. You anything. can't? Is that the... OK. You'll have to watch it, wait and see. <laughs> I thought you might say that. <laughs> and also, the great thing about it is that all the other issues you can explore with the other characters, like, you know, your relationship with your mum and your mm. family, yes, it's yeah. really feisty at times, isn't it? Mm. And that's it. Like, I think, as I say, Emma's done such a good job of... It's a show that explores all these issues, but it's actually, as well, just hilarious. Like yeah. it's, it's very funny and it's a kind of a comedy that is really specific to the characters. It's a humour that feels quite generational as well, like our age group. But the, the themes and like the, the whole story, I feel like, will hopefully be quite universal to everyone. Were you surprised? And Sally said she, she, you know, she was surprised. It, it was unexpected when, when she viewed it. Were you ex surprised when you read it? When you it's first cheekier thought about than it? I yeah. think. Yes, it's quite it cheeky, is. Isn't it it yeah. felt so different to anything I'd ever read before. And, and the humour is so specific. I think mm. Emma does an amazing job of power. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And where that must get you into trouble. Yeah, but it actually helps because I work as like a lawyer um, settling estates disputes. So just like actually getting the person, then they say like, oh, the money's going to go to this person or whatever. Um, but I often feel overshadowed by these yeah. like larger-than-life characters. I don't